Do you support the sale of recreational marijuana in the city of Holland? No. The council voted on that. We don't want to do that. Okay. Do you, can you expound on why you voted against it or why you were supportive of that? Um, the city as a whole voted against it. Um, and we, when we hosted the MML conference here in Highland back in 2017 for the first time, which was great to have all the cities and, um, represented here, they brought in uh, an assistant prosecutor from Colorado um, who had firsthand experience with the recreational marijuana as it has unfolded in Colorado. Oh my goodness. Um, and she said, I hate to be saying all these bad things about my own state, but, and it was one slide after another of what's happening in the emergency room with children that are ingesting candy that they think is candy, but it isn't. Um, and she told stories of um, somebody that, you know, you have um, cannabis infested, um, infused, I should say, not infested, um, infused cookies. And so somebody takes a bite and doesn't feel anything takes another bite, doesn't feel anything, finishes the cookie, jumps off a balcony. Um, it, it, there's one story after another uh, of the unintended consequences of doing that in your community. And, you know, I know it is legal across the state now for people to be able to um, smoke it or whatever they want to do, but um, we don't have to sell it in, as businesses. and. Uh, one person I talked to um, who had a friend in Colorado and like now you visit your friend in Colorado You notice any differences? She said yeah, like the corner stores I would just really like to have an ice cream store somewhere instead of every corner store be another cannabis something or other and then they have the sometimes places explode because it's a highly highly um, they, they try to take the chemical down to the, the most intense amount um, and in that process can cause explosions. Okay. Mr. Brox, 